What's up, Stoners? Welcome to another local band, Smoke Out. I'm your host, who's had the most BG. Today, we're actually doing an album uh, review for Holland Tour. They're a heavy metal band out of Florida. The album's called Escaping Myself. Uh, basically, for fans of Judas Priest, Megadeth, and Dokken. Uh, this project was created by Glenn Poland. Features Tim the Ripper Owens on vocals throughout the whole thing. And it's got Dokken's George Lynch on some guest guitar solos. If you've never seen me do an album review, well, I've already got my notes for every single track. We're going to basically play like a little bit of each song, not a whole lot, just basically that the point of that is because we want you guys to go discover it if you enjoy what you're hearing and go support the band, purchase it, stream it, whatever you can do to help them out. But I'll kind of just rattle off my notes on each song, play a little bit of each one. At the very end, we do a pros and a cons, and then I name my favorite songs. And uh, yeah, we kind of give like a final score of the whole thing. Without further ado, the first track off Escaping Myself is called Dragon Fire. The track list right here. And with Dragon Fire, my notes are, uh, obviously it's the intro track, it explodes right away with some blistering guitars. The vocal wailing in the background, like, yeah, is, is really, really cool from, uh, from Tim. Production sounds great, it has a really dope solo. A great way to start the album and the guitars sound very chunky and full. Let me know what you think. You hear that? In the background? That's nasty. Yeah, the solos, the solos on this project are just completely ridiculous, like throughout the whole thing. It's it's definitely worth jamming this. Uh so track two. Track two is is called Before the Fall, and that actually starts at the three minute mark, so we'll go right about there. Uh, before the fall, I wrote down, there's some really cool dual guitar riffs that started off that just sound awesome. Kind of gives you like a little bit of an Iron Maiden vibe. Um, vocals sound great again on this one. And at some points, you get a little bit of an Axl Rose vibe from uh, from Tim. Another dope, dope short solo at the end. Uh, and then of course, this one has a really, really catchy hook. This is track two, Before the Fall. Total like 80s vibes. Uh, you definitely get like a little bit of Judas Priest on this one for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's as mentioned, we skip around a little bit just because it'd be boring if I just sat here for 30 minutes, kind of like nodding my head, blah, blah, blah. So I just kind of rattle off like the cool parts I thought that I found. Hollister, we're jamming the Escaping Myself album which leads us to track three that one's called m18 devour starts at 706 right there um wild guitar section in the beginning absolutely wild 
Tim sounds fantastic on this one. I mean, what else can you not say about Tim? He is the ripper. Wild solo behind Tim's vocals that uh, in, this, in, the, in the break spot, which is really cool. Look for that. And then I actually wrote down best guitar tracks yet on this particular one. M18 Devour. Wow. You're amazing, dude. Lots of cool tone on that. ridiculous just ridiculous guitar parts throughout throughout the whole thing man it's just crazy uh open fire is coming up right after this one but there's still some other cool stuff in m18 devour i want to show you it's like towards a little bit towards uh right here All right, so the next track is uh, track four, Open Fire. On that one, I wrote down uh, crazy sweeping sections going on in the beginning. Definitely you get some Megadeth vibes on this one. Um, this one actually could be my favorite so far. The guitar chugs sound really chunky and great. Lots of Iron Maiden style solos throughout it. I love it, exclamation point. I like Literally it wrote lot. that in my notes right here. This is Open <laughs> Fire. Okay. Now that I hear it again, that even that wasn't even a sweeping section. Or whatever. Still sounds good. Yeah, Tim sounds like Dave Mustaine. Tim sounds like Dave Mustaine a little bit on this one to me. That guitar part's crazy. I don't know if this is a single from this album, but it absolutely should be for sure. Yeah! This one rules, man. Hell yeah. Open fire. Open fire. The next one is... Comes in. Open fire. Displasia is the next one. Displasia. Uh, this, this one has a bit of a different vibe than all the other tracks to me. This one stands out a little bit. Um, it has some simple riffs with either like a flange or a phaser that kind of lead the charge throughout the whole song. So you're kind of like... That is the thing that you're just focusing on. Everything's kind of working around that. Um, and then this one has yet another really, really awesome solo. Die 
Splassia, which I have no idea what that word means, but let's check it out. It's a phaser. I really like the artwork too. Like this dude's crawling for like a little. Oh, he's got the chain on him. This for the first time, but yeah, he's crawling through here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is track six. Track six is called Woman of Fire. And at this point, I had realized that this is, I noticed that this is the third song that has fire in the title. So there, there must be a correlation to why all the songs have something to do with fire, I think, because a lot of them do. Um, cool vocal melodies in this one throughout the song. Dope high notes from Tim on the hook. Could this be the hardest song vocally as far as range that Tim does on, on the music? I'm not sure. Uh, shout out to Glenn Poland, by the way, who created this whole project. What's up, Glenn? Yeah! <laughs> Woman of Fire. Crazy guitar, drop the whole album. The whole album. Super high notes. Super high notes right there. That's not easy. Saw her rise and he knew it. His life has passed into the dark. Woman of Fire. Track, track six. So as mentioned, the tracks are very much related to fire, which leads us to track seven. And that one's called Ghost Rider, who's literally on fire. So I don't know. There's some kind of theme going on here, but I don't really understand what M18 Devour and Dysplasia have to do with fire. That's what I was kind of like trying to figure out earlier. Like, where does that come in? But anyway, Ghost Rider comes in right about here. It's track seven. And on this one, I put down opens heavy like a slipknot track. Like it has like that chunky da -da -da aggressiveness to it. Um, simple yet effective chorus. Tons of mega death vibes on this one. But then this one kind of ends unexpectedly. Like the way this, this track ends, I like caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to end the way it did. Waiting for the breakout. 
I love the screaming solos that they always have on this on this whole album. That'd probably be George. Shout out to George Lynch. All right, so track eight comes in right here. Right around 25, 43. The final one, Trapped Under Fire. Outro track, fast and upbeat, which is great. Tim has some more cool high notes going on in this one. Uh, and this one in particular reminds me more of Judas Priest than any other one. But this album I, re I thought was very, very consistent as far as it having that classic heavy metal sound. Um, each track has its own little differences, but it still as a collective whole sounds fantastic together when listened in order and everything. So this is Holland Tour's final track of the Escaping Myself album, Trapped Under Fire. Son, where'd you find this? These guys are actually uh, from Florida. A little bit all over the place, but Florida. So good. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Holland Tour, Escaping Myself album review. Let's go ahead and go to the pros, cons, favorite songs, and the score for the pros. Obviously, this album is crazy, crazy what? when it comes to the guitar sections. George absolutely destroys, Glenn destroys. They did such a good job on like the Maiden style harmonies on certain songs. It's really, really cool. Uh, Tim's vocals are badass throughout, but you kind of know that when it's, we're talking about Tim the Ripper Owens. Uh, who, by the way, I didn't know who that was until like a year and a half ago, we're referring to Tim. And somebody had me do a review, and they were like, you know that's Tim on, on our song, right? And I was like, well, who's, who's Tim? And they beat me up verbally, and I was like, oh, okay. Did a little research, and I was like, man, where have I been? Tim is awesome. Um, and then I wrote down for another pro, just consistent production. The production is like very consistent all the way through. Uh, there's only one track that I thought that was a little bit odd, uh, just production wise, which was Displacia. It has like a little bit of a different openness to it than the other ones. That's not really that big a deal. I didn't have a whole lot of cons. My main con was why is every almost every song called something fire or related to fire? Because I don't get like a fire aspect when looking at the album cover or in the lyrics i don't recall tim's talking a whole lot about fire in the lyrics so i was kind of curious why five or six of the eight tracks are related to fire so that was confusing to me but other than that there wasn't really a whole lot of cons you just have to put something for the sake of doing this album review my three favorite tracks m18 devour trapped under fire and open fire of which open fire was my favorite on the entire album Guys, overall, we are going to go. Nine point one out of ten. Fantastic score. They uh, they definitely deserve it. Glenn busted his butt on on this album. It's great. George did a fantastic job on his uh, his couple of uh, just solos that he did. Tim slays in the whole thing. Coming out of Florida, please, 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 if you ever get a chance to check out this album or tell a friend about it, please take that opportunity and do it. Holland Tour, Escaping Myself, full album review, 9.1 out of 10. These guys will yeah! man.
Yeah. Guys, if you're if you're watching this and you'd like me to do the same for your band, go to localbandsmokeout.com, click the submit your music tab. It explains everything you need to know. Uh, we do just single single reviews, EP, album reviews, a uh, couple other things. Just let me know if you're interested in that. And that applies to any artist, any genre, anywhere in the entire world. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and or the bell. That way you never miss an episode, EP, album review, or interview when we upload it, of which we have over 3,300 of those things. And four times a week, we do live streams where we review about 60 to 70 artists per show. Twitch.tv slash local band smoke out. Please join us if you can. Monday through Thursday, 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. It's the place to be for all our guests, prizes, trivia, and punishment, um, and a bunch of other madness goes on there, but it's a lot of fun. Other than that, I am your host, who's having the most BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing. And Smoke peace. weed every day.